I'm going to cut this down to 12 inches now. And I'm going to about uh, 270 to 280 degrees. It's really getting soft now. Dry, right, we're going to have to start working with that in. Just like when I worked with the oven, I'm putting part of it in at a time directly under to warm it up fast. The temperature is very uneven on the phone, of course, but kind of using it like a uh, glory hole when, they're, when you're working with uh, when you're blowing glass. You have a really well, it's uh, basically a tunnel. A forge that's uh, real high temperature for heating up the glass fast and exactly where you want it to be hot. That's kind of how I'm doing this. It's working pretty well. start shrinking you're done. So I'll keep playing around with this and see what I can come up with. Well what have I learned with this experiment? <laughs> um, I was really hoping this would have applications for molding speaker pods and uh, you know out of the phone to you know uh, make fast mocks and uh, I'm pretty disappointed in the way it came out because I think the the problem is it's so refractive that the temperature has to be, you know, really precise and for, you know, an exact amount of time and, you know, to work quickly and really even pressure. That's the biggest problem is giving it even pressure. So probably some type of two-sided mold might work well, but then you still come back to the, the temperature and the, um, you know, the exact temperature and uh, the ambient temperature of the, of the mold and I mean, there's just so many variables, and, and then once it starts getting to the point where it's perfect, all of a sudden it starts shrinking up. So, and you know, obviously that's no good. So, I think um, you know, I, it wasn't a total loss. <laughs> I, I definitely learned a few things from, from the experiment, and uh, you know, you have to think too that I wasn't just trying to like shape a piece because that's easy to do with heat. You can use a hair dryer and do that, or, or a, a heat gun, or a lamp, or 
or real quick in your oven the same way, just to like shape like the, the airfoil on, on a wing, you know, the, the shape of the wing, uh, curve a piece or make a canopy, something like that. That's easy, but you know, I'm trying to mold an entire side of a plane and, and uh, with you know different components already mold in the mold, and that's really not going to happen. Um, <laughs> I don't think not easily anyway. So next experiment, move on. <laughs> Thanks for watching. as soon as you take it out of the heat. I, I think the plaster backing is really going to be the the best way to do this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make the, the shape and make the casting out of plaster that I can set, push it uh, down into this, or you know, like uh, round it around before I try to push it into the mold. This is definitely not accurate enough. Vacuum for me. I'm sure I'm sure there's a way to do this at home really well with a lot of equipment. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. I don't want to. You know, if, you have, if I have to set up, you know, vacuum uh, warming equipment on top of everything else, that's just uh, it's not worth my effort at this at this time anyway. casting from that now and then I can form it around it'll be the right shape and push it down into the mold I think it'll work pretty well that's I could call it the flying turd <laughs> the blue turd blue phone turd I don't know <laughs> 